Another really stormy day at Lyme Regis. I'm going to head out to Monmouth Beach when the tide heads out looking for fossils today. So join me on the fossil walk in mid-May heading out on a stormy day. Some fossil oyster shells here from the Jurassic Coast. Nice little place to look for the ammonites preserved in the fool's gold. Just try and move some of this pyrites around and look in it for the small ammonites. There's part of one preserved in fool's gold, iron pyrites. And the more you sort of push the material around, the more chances you have of finding one of these little ammonites preserved in the fool's gold. Shame about that one, it's been broken up by the sea's actions, but it's quite a nice little center of an ammonite there. I've come right down here into Pinay Bay. Here's a nice ammonite up ahead, on top of the rock. Nice one for everyone to see, eroding away. We're looking in the flint and shirt rock, here's a nice piece of fossil wood. Some uh, Cretaceous age fossil wood. Good to see the sun coming out today as I walk along. There's a really nice big ammonite impression here from the Jurassic Coast. That's a sad sight for me to see. The beautiful Moss waterfall has crashed down onto the shoreline after all that rough weather in the last few days in May. Are we quickly washed away out to sea today when the sea comes back in over this area? I just found a little block of gastropods from the green sand. Quite a nice uh, block to take back. Eroding away nicely. And uh, here on the beach, just up ahead, looks like a bit of a stone face. I'm just heading into Pinay Bay again, back into Pinay Bay as the tide comes in, I'm heading back, but I've noticed a really nice rounded Arneoceros stone up ahead here. So I'll give that a tap, see how that comes out with the various calcite ammonites in it. comes out. Another strike here should be pretty good. There we go, look at that one. Wow, really nice ammonite there from the Jurassic Age. Let's just wet that. Quite a rare ammonite this one. Euagasiceros. You can see here one of the Euagasiceros ammonites from the Jurassic. So here is another look at that lovely creamy fossil ammonite inside that Arneoceros block. You see it's quite perfect down to the centre there. Some people love this natural effect with the ammonites in the blocks. This one will prepare out quite nicely as well so I can do a bit more preparation to make it look more three-dimensional in the rock. So the main thing when looking for these ammonites along the Jurassic coast is to stay away from the dangerous cliffs and uh, that's a thing to keep in mind all the time down here because of the cliffs falling down. Very dangerous and liable to fall suddenly without warning. So please subscribe to this channel and look out for our next video featuring a lot of ammonites. 
that'll be our next upcoming video on my channel